In part four of my Madeira photography series, I show a collection of some other amazing locations I visited on the island. Being such a small island, I was continually surprised by the many different places to see and photograph. And with no one location feeling quite the same, it was a thrilling week with the camera. To start this video off, I visited the Monte Palace Gardens to begin a day visit to the capital of Funchal. So we've come to the Monte Palace Gardens, um, which is sort of like a, like a tropical Japanese themed garden. Um, and yeah, it's really lovely. It's great to see all the different sort of Japanese architecture structures and things uh, kind of mixed with the, the flowers. And um, yeah, it's quite, quite nice, very photogenic. Made me want to go to Japan, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, getting some good shots, I think. Some interesting shots that I haven't sort of seen of Madeira. Photographically speaking, the gardens isn't exactly a bucket list location and it's difficult to pick this place over the many amazing scenes of Madeira, but I would say the visit to the gardens is worth it. It was a really relaxing walk and a nice change of pace from the hiking in the mountains. I didn't necessarily get any portfolio images here, but I got a collection of nice images to look back on and remember my visit. After the gardens, I visited the centre of Funchal, and to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. From the small amount of research I did before the trip, I got the impression there wasn't a mass of things to do in Funchal, but it seemed like one of those places where the main attraction is enjoying the slow pace of life, and generally strolling through the streets. I didn't get the camera out much, but I did get one shot I quite like. After enjoying a couple of drinks at a rooftop bar and basking in the afternoon sun, I went to a viewpoint overlooking the city to capture some sunset shots. So to wrap up our day in uh, the capital of Funchal, um, we've come to quite a popular viewpoint here and yeah, it's a, it's a spectacular view overlooking the city um, just on the cliff edge and yeah, the sun is setting right where I, where I need it to be and uh, yeah, hopefully going to get some nice colour in the clouds and um, you know, some nice light hitting all these uh, really, really spectacular buildings along the hillside. <music> Yeah, so I've seen a few pictures of, of this location um, and yeah, I think it's a really popular sunset spot just because of where the, where the sun sets and um, it's going to be quite challenging with the dynamic range, I think. Um, you probably see on my face, the, the sun is it's really bright, um, but yeah, should, should be in, in store for quite a nice sunset. Um, can't see any cloud on the horizon um, and got some nice cloud hovering above the mountains that, that sit above. Uh, the city. It really was a great vantage point of Funchal and a great place to fly the drone. The ocean as well is, is so so clear um, which really kind of comes up on on the drone shots you know getting that bird's eye view um, is, is really really great. I'm 
I'm struggling a bit with the focal length. Um, I've got a 16 to 35 lens and a, and a 100 to 400. So I have got a little bit of a, a gap in the, in the mid range, which you probably need for this location, probably 50 millimeters. Um, so we'll probably have to crop in on the 35 mil or you know, potentially go for some different shots with the 100 to 400 zoom. Um, so we'll we'll see how that that turns out. At the moment, I've got the long lens on, and I'm just sort of picking out shots in the city, kind of nice buildings, hitting the with the with the sunlight. While flying the drone along the coast, I focused on these buildings, which provided a great focal point. Just as the golden colours peaked, I took one last flight, and these are the shots I got. So as you can probably see behind me, the sun has set and yeah, it was an amazing, um, another amazing sunset here in Madeira. Um, yeah, I got some really great colour in the sky. The clouds as well looked really, really good. Um, I think I got some really good shots from that one. Uh, what I'm going to do now is hang around for a little bit and wait until it gets more into blue hour um, because I think the city lights will, will really shine quite nicely against the, the afterglow of the sun. During my trip, I also went to the Quemadas Forest Park, located in Santana. From a photography point of view, the cottages near the car park are very photogenic and provide a great focal point. And good morning everybody. Uh, so for sunrise this morning, um, I've come to uh, location. Um, to be honest, I can't remember the name of it, so I'll pop it on the screen now. And yeah, essentially it's a sort of collection of uh, really sort of pretty and uh, picturesque buildings in the middle of sort of the forest. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice location. Um, I did originally go to another location this morning. Um, I had planned to photograph um, some sort of sea stacks and interesting rock formations on the coast. Um, but when I got there, the tide was lower than I thought it would be. And I did check the tide times before I went out and I uh, thought it'd be a little bit higher. Um, so for the composition I had in mind and um, when I was there, it, it wasn't really working. So I just sort of decided to change location and come to somewhere that was, on the, that was nearby and on the way back um, to, to the apartment. You know, I wanted to come to this location at some point on the trip, um, but I thought uh, it'd probably be best to come here when it's quiet, early in the morning, um, and there, are, there aren't too many people about. Um, but yeah, it seems like I've got the place all to myself at the moment, which is good. Um, I'm just gonna wait around for a little bit. As you can see, I've got some nice light coming through the trees and um, hopefully sort of shine some light on, on the building um, behind me there. Uh, you can just see the top of it, it's in a bit of sunlight. Um, 
but yeah, some great sort of leading lines and footpath. It really works for, for this composition. It's quite a nice um, sort of stony one. It's quite a nice pattern uh, and texture to it. So it, um, it does work with it. I really love this location and in hindsight, I should have spent more time here or visited during some different weather conditions. It's probably also worth mentioning that uh, another reason why I changed location is um, the conditions this morning, um, it's quite, it's very clear, uh, there aren't many clouds in the, in the sky and also there's a little bit of sort of haze and mist in, in the air which kind of I think if you're going for a viewpoint and in, in the mountains it's probably not the best um, just because you aren't getting that that contrast and that clear um, that clarity um, that you need I think so kind of thought I'd, I'd come to a location where that's not really that important and actually it's kind of quite favorable to get some blue skies and, and some direct sunlight in the morning <music> Another location worth a visit is the town of Ponta del Sol on the southwest coast. I only visited this location once, but if I were to visit Madeira again, I would definitely come back here at sunrise or perhaps during the blue hour. Like many other locations in Madeira, you really need a drone to capture the amazing setting of this small town. Next on the list is Porto Meniz, which is probably best known for its amazing natural pool by the sea. The surrounding area here again is breathtaking. I really loved capturing the roads twisting around this mountainside. It's another location I would recommend. One thing I love with all of these drone shots is the roof colour of the houses and how they pair with the white walls. I would love to visit this location in more ideal conditions for photography, either during golden hour or with some low hanging cloud. The final location in this video is the beach at Ribera de Janela. This is another popular location for photography and it's easy to see why. The combination of the sea stacks and the pleasing looking rocks on the beach makes for a nice image. I think this would be a great location to visit on a cloudy or rainy day, or perhaps when the conditions aren't quite working in the mountains. And that wraps up this video, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy it, be sure to check out my other vlogs from Madeira, including a visit to Pico Aereo, Pico Ruivo and the Fenal Forest. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.